how to be an effective coach. I'm Ruth Kudzi, the founder of Ruth Kudzi Coaching. I transformed my life and my business and I'm passionate about helping others do the same. This is applicable for you if you are using coaching within an organisation or if you're working as a coach. You may have seen the current buzz. You coach the person, not the problem. So often our clients come to us and they want to talk about a situation or a problem. They're problem focused and they may also be people that are solution focused. But the problem is never the problem. I'm sure you've heard this before as well. It's about going underneath that problem and really unwrapping what is going on for the person. So you're looking at how you can coach the person. We know that under the iceberg, the behavior, the situation is above, it's what's visible. But actually, it's what's underneath that is really important to coach. Okay, so what is it about the situation that has made the person bring this to you? How are they feeling? What are they thinking? What is going on for them? Understanding the person in front of you's context is really important their experience, their beliefs, their values. What has happened to them in the past? Because we know, consciously or unconsciously, that we hold what has happened in the past to be a blueprint of what might happen in the future. We know that our intuition acts on pattern recognition, so often we are making decisions based on what we have already experienced. And we know that unconscious biases can actually impact how we think and behave. So if we know that all of these different elements can impact an individual, then when they're coming to us to be coached, it's always so much more. And this is why often at the beginning of a coaching session, when you ask a client, what would you like to focus on today? Or what do you want to be different by the end of the session? That the first thing they say may not actually be what they really want because they're going with what they're thinking in that moment but often we need to uncover and we need to delve deeper and really help them get clear on what they even want it's called sifting for nuggets sifting for gold because we as humans we go through spotting hazards spotting problems spotting these things and we can often think oh i want to talk about x I want to talk about this, but really it's this. And the reason that this is impacting us is because we haven't resolved what we think about ourselves, or we've got a limiting belief, or maybe we can't, you know, this, this isn't consistent with what has happened before, or maybe we're questioning our intuition, or we're questioning whether we should have trusted that person. And it goes deep. So what we need to do as coaches, or when we're using coaching, in our roles is about holding space for the whole person and really helping, pe helping them to understand the wider context of what they're bringing. So we can go deeper and we can help them to really see who they are. Because a lot of coaching, and actually all of coaching, is about the person. We put these labels in front, performance coach, leadership coach, business coach, life coach. And those are merely labels. All we're really doing is coaching the person in front of us, holding space for them to increase their self-awareness and understand who they are, understand what they're thinking, understand what they believe, and then be able to change. Because coaching is about change. It's about awareness and change. So it's very easy to, to sort a surface problem. Oh, I want to be more visible on social media. Brilliant, I can coach you through that. I can get you a strategy to be more visible on social media. But why aren't you being visible? What's stopping you being visible? What does visible mean to you? How do you need to feel and think about yourself in order for you to be truly visible? What needs to change about your thoughts for you to be truly visible? What do you need to let go of from your past for you to be truly visible? What are you doing right now that isn't serving that future version of you, which you need to let go of if you're going to actually be visible? What does being visible even feel like to you? And where, what do you want it to feel like? 
Because you can, you know, having that strategy, oh great, yes. And this is why coaching is a deep intervention. This is why it goes to the unconscious. This is why having an evidence-based neuroscience and positive psychology approach is really important because it goes beyond. It goes beyond the situation to actually the meaning that that means to you because of your context, because of your experience. Great coaching goes to the root. It doesn't look at the leaves. The only way the leaves are gonna change on that tree is if you do the work on the root. So great coaching can be challenging and uncomfortable for the coachee because they're getting asked questions which are making them think differently, which are making them confront things that are going on for them. So if you want to develop as a coach, think about how you are coaching the entire person in front of you, how you're holding space for everything that's going on for them, and how you're doing that in a non-judgmental way. Because their experience is not your experience. Yeah, of course, you may have had experience that is similar, but you're not them. They are an individual, and appreciating that each individual brings their own set of experience and skills and learning means that coaching can be such a rich intervention. So I'd love to know, how do you hold space for the whole person? Our next video is over here. Remember to ring that bell, like and subscribe, and feel free to share if you enjoy my content.